Uh, so we come here to Instructor Palace, uh, we pretty much control the aux field for like half the day-ish. Um, so we have, it's a little bit more deconflicted from home field because we have a lot of aircraft flying at the same time and we do different time, types of patterns and landings that we practice all day and there would be a lot of conflicts at the home field if everyone would go in at the same field at the same time. So we're flying the T6, uh, Texan, T6A, Texan 2, um, and the students that are usually coming here are in the beginning of the, of the training. They uh, practice landings and improve their landing skills. We have a crew that's a uh, crew of three that's out at Frederick every day. Our job is to support the T6 operations uh, in and out of there. And last year, I think they flew about 126,000 approaches on that airfield. So it's pretty vital that we're up there supporting their mission up there. Uh, the crew of three firefighters, uh, they do more than traditional firefighting activities up there. They inspect the runway before the air aircraft can land um, to make sure that it's uh, ready for use. Uh, they also act as the ground crew. There's no other folks up there. So they uh, provide assistance to the crews when they arrive there. They get them in and out of the aircraft and they make sure they can get out to the RSUs to do their jobs. The oddity about this uh, aux field is we, we're actually on a regional airport as opposed to the other AATC bases that do have auxiliary airfields which are normally Air Force property. But you know we do have mutual aid as well with the City of Frederick. They are our backups so if we do have an incident that's ongoing out there the City of Frederick will uh, uh, dispatch their firefighters out there to assist us. Yeah. 